I know what you're thinking. The game has been out for two years now and there are hundreds of lore videos already. But be honest with me, do you really remember the story? Did you even get it the first time? I sure as hell didn't. So here's a quick recap before the DLC, cause you know there's gonna be hours of lore to go through when that shit drops. So we're in the lands between. Where is that? Not sure. Between what exactly? Fuck if I know. In the beginning there was a big tree which drew its power from the crucible, wherever the fuck that is, and all was good and everyone was horny. Not in that way you perverts, I'm talking literal horns because crucible like horns or some shit. But then a cosmic entity called the Greater Will appeared and decided to send his Elden Beast to parasite on the big tree. Reasons unknown and likely sexual. And then there was a bigger tree, all golden and shiny and shit, but current inhabitants were like, why? And Will was like, I'm taking over, there's gonna be order, the golden order. And the horny people were like, but we don't wanna. And Will said, I'll fuck you up, you dare talk back to me, you scum, I'll eliminate all of you. Well, Will didn't really say that because he doesn't talk. He communicates via fingers who also can't talk, and these old ladies would translate the fingers into words, however the fuck that is usually done. I'm guessing there was some miscommunication happening here, but let's just move on. Will chose an Empyrean called Merica to be their queen and fight his wars. Elden Beast transformed into an Elden Ring, which consisted of runes of power and was basically a rule set for the Golden Order. Let's move this shit. I really should have planned this a bit better, you know? Will gave Merica this ring that made her powerful and also gave her health insurance, the company car and a dog. But the dog was mostly there to kill Merica if she disobeys. So Merica naturally removed death from Elden Ring and gave it to her dog. Now no one could really die. Neat. She also put the dog on the floaty rock thing for some reason. And then Merica was like, I don't really want to fight myself. So she found this Giga Chad Horror Lou. She shagged him and sent him out to kill and subdue everyone around her tree. Then they had three children, Godwin, who everyone loved, and the ugly twins, Morgoth and Moog. Look, I'm not a biologist or anything, but these are not Godfrey's kids. I'm sorry, America definitely banged one of these guys. And to hide this disgrace, mom threw the twins in the sewers. As you usually do with ugly kids. So the Golden Order wiped out the dragons. I, I'm pretty sure this guy banged a couple of them. The giants and a bunch of these guys. So basically everyone except the sorcerers led by the astrology queen Rinala, who's definitely a Virgo by the way. But then this Radigan dude came out of nowhere and seduced that bitch and there was peace. So Radigan and Rinala had three children. Princess Rani who was into moons and astrology like her mom. Giga Chad Radan who was weirdly into Godfrey, so he hit the gym and got so buffed he couldn't ride his pony. So he, naturally, learned some gravity magic so that he wouldn't squash Leonard with his big thighs. And then there was Rikard, who allowed the big snake to eat him. This is that weird neighbor kid your mom wants you to play with? And all was fine, but then Radigan divorced Renala and left her an egg. Can I offer you a nice egg in this trying time? Meanwhile, Merica was like, Hora, you need to be more of a gentleman. So she gave him a new formal name, Godfrey, a title of Elden Ward, and a cat. Uh, yeah, and then she was like, oh wow, you're such a pussy. And she, she banished him, I guess because she didn't really need him anymore. And then Marika and Radigan hooked up. But wait, there's a twist. Radigan is Marika. However the fuck that works. So this means that Marika banged Godfrey, then some defiled scum people, then Rinala, and then herself. So basically she's a whore. Keep your you voice whore! Down. Did you bang my whore wife? Does anybody here have any illegitimate children with my poor wife that I should know about. America and America had kids, Mikola, Melania and probably Melania too, this bitch is mysterious. One has arrested development and always looks like a child, second was afflicted with a rot and Mel Melania is just weird. The lesson here is that incest is bad. Then suddenly Rani stole a fragment of the rune of death from America's dog and used it to kill Godwin's soul but not his body and her own body but not her soul. This resulted in Godwin's corpse becoming this ugly ass thing and Rani becoming a doll. Why she decided to do all that? 
fuck if I know, but it's kinda cool and symbolic, I guess. So America destroyed the Elden Ring while being mad and Radigan tried desperately to repair it. It's uh, a bipolar thing, I guess. The greatest conspiracy theory here is that America was behind the death of Godwin so that she can have an excuse to then shatter the Elden Ring. Just like Bush was behind 9-11. Will grounded America in the tree for being a bad bitch. Radigan was trying to fix things by forging great runes of power out of Elden Ring remains and everyone else around fought for these runes because why not have another fucking war. And then you came out of nowhere to beat everyone's ass and restore Elden Ring for whatever fucking reason. And that's it, that's, that's the whole story. And this guy also bangs uh, a child, I guess. So as you can see, I put much time and effort into researching and making this video and I hope you like this journey as much as I did because now that I'm finally looking at all of this laid out before my eyes, I gotta say, I still don't understand what the fuck is happening here. Oh, by the way, I'm planning to do a stream where I'll be preparing a character for the DLC. I'm gonna do it this or next week, uh, which I'll clarify in a post. So join me if you want, I guess. Thank you, bye.